royal persons on seat, all protocols being observed, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mrs. Adeju. I am a, I am, I am one of person that life abundance and Jesus has imparted in, in, in their lives so much. I have been in this condition since when I was four years old. With my parents, they've been training me. So I finished my secondary school in 1995, and I proceeded to Federal College of Education, or your special, to study English education. During the English, during my education, my father passed on. <coughs> it was very difficult to continue the education, but I determined and I made I must succeed. So I started moving around to individuals and churches to seek for how I pay the school fees. I finished the NC for three years. Applying for employment in Lagos, they said embargo is on it and you just have to move around and start searching for employment. Okay, what should I do? I went to United Training School to learn how to operate the switchboard then <coughs> so that I can work on switchboard to transfer calls to customers in companies where switchboards have been operated. So I started telephone operating after my NC just to enhance the employment to be faster. Finishing that one, I started applying all around, but no positive response. I said, okay, it's not finished. I just have to continue. What is then? They said, now is a computer literate is going on. That if you are not computer literate, you cannot get anything done in life. Okay, what should I do now? They said, we have computer special training in Adi Yamalakija for special people to appraise. How do I pay? My father is late. I approached an organization then and they decided to pay it for me. I went in there for three months again to know how to use this computer with a special software that speaks up the screen for the blind to reach. Adding together to it to search for employment. I sat at home for 10 good years. No employment. After 10 years, what should I do? He said, if you don't have your degree, you cannot be employed. Ah, I said too. So I just have to start doing everything and I studied data and counseling at University of Lagos. I graduated in 2016, started to search for employment. To cause the old story short, last year, it's a sentence, I've already promised to employ people with ability 250 people. So I applied and I was interviewed and they said we should sit and wait for calls to collect an appointment letter. To my surprise, they called everybody, but they said my name was omitted to be given an appointment letter. So I said, okay, I will have to go and sleep in the chairman's office. If he won't give me, if she won't give me employment, that is civil service commission. So I took my 10 year old daughter to go to the civil service chairman commission's office to sit there. I said, okay, I will sleep here today with this girl because they were not all going to school and there was no room to feed them. So getting to the chairman's office, she wasn't around. So Dr. Aman just came to see her friend, that is the civil service commission, and she met us on seat. My little girl was crying because she told me yesterday I drank Gary. See, this is 10 o'clock now. No food yet. What's happening? Now, let's go home now. I said, okay, we are going to sit down here to wait for a chairman. If she sees you, maybe she will give, her, give me the employment to feed you all. So the doctor, so Dr. Aman said what was happening, so she interrogated us and I told her the condition on ground. He said, okay, that she, it was so surprising for this girl not to be in school. So she picked up the, the girl that she would pay the school fees and her junior brother. So since then, they've been, she had, they've been paying the school fees and to cap it all, I told her, I said, to pay the school fees is not enough, nothing to feed them. When they go to school, they think they are and when they are, when they are in school, they will be hungry. So they said, okay, they'll be giving me 10,000 10, every month to feed them, plus the school fees. Thank you very much to this organization, and I look forward to the organization to please 
He joined me in looking for this employment so I can take care of these children for greater achievement. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Have a nice day.